Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Sikki bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, two things. Is the CompTIA A Plus still worth it for 2025? And the changes that are happening for CompTIA A Plus since they're coming out with a new exam. So obviously if you're new, make sure you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. All right, so let me share my screen. Uh, and we're going to go over this real quick. CompTIA uh, A Plus. And I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, so I'm on the A plus exam right now. So they they just got done with the with the one one zero one one zero two. Um, and yeah, the new one's coming out for twenty twenty five. You know, they're always changing the exam. So obviously, um, if you go into renew, um, there are several ways to renew your certification. So you could do the continue education program. Basically, you get C, C, CEUs to renew your A+. Plus. So anyone that's watching right now that probably has an A+, plus, it's going to be expiring soon. You could What you could do is you could um, do this, uh, the CEUs to actually, you know, renew your certification. Or um, you could take a higher certification like Network Plus or Security Plus. And renew your certification that way. That's the other. That's the other way of renewing your certification if you have the A plus. So, um, it says you can do CEUs. It's like the easiest way of doing it. Um, or you take a higher exam. Um, that's just that's just the recommended way of doing it. And obviously, this is all the information on the prices. Um, the voucher is two hundred fifty dollars. Um, you guys don't know if you if you go on my website and you buy it under me. Is only two hundred dollars. The voucher is two hundred dollars because I I'm because I'm partnered with CompTIA, so it's it's cheaper if you get it well under me. And then the Security Plus for me is two hundred and sixty two dollars. So I just I just show you that real quick because maybe you guys may be interested in purchasing it, but on my website, uh, if you go to CompTIA vouchers, it's two hundred dollars. See it's right here, and then. Uh, sorry, it's three thirty, and the network plus is two fifty. Still not bad compared to the website. If you compare the website voucher to the other one, very expensive. So, um, I think, I think the network plus is like mine is two fifty. I think it's a lot more expensive than that. Uh, three sixty nine. Yeah, it's a lot way more expensive. But yeah. Uh, it's gonna. It's about a plus and or plus. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So you, you have to re, You have to get ready for the new exam. I'm not sure what they're gonna cover. I'll stop sharing. I'm not too sure what's gonna be on the new exam. So I have to wait and see what happens. And then maybe I'll make some videos on it for studying. So you guys to prepare you for the actual exam. Um. And then that was that was what I wanted to talk about today was the exam section, but also, if a plus is worth it for 2025. In my opinion, yes, it's still worth it. Even because the thing is, I've been working with people, and I had a guy recently. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say his name because he, you know, it's it's private between me and him because I do training one on one with people. Um, he got his A plus, and he got a job. He got a job recently because he had an A plus certification, and he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any experience, and he didn't land his first job in IT like literally this week. So, you know, to show you that people get jobs. And I had another guy that also had A+, plus, and he landed a job working um, for Help Desk, making $60,000. And and that was for uh, the Department of Education for the school. So, and that's this year, like literally, like we're just starting the year. So um, you can still get a job and you can still get a job in Help Desk IT support if you're trying to get your A+. Plus. Remember that my my channel is more about help desk IT support. So so they say, oh, the A plus is not good for any of these other things. You have to remember that um, my channel is tailored more to entry level folks that are doing help desk IT support, desktop support, service desk. So if you have your A plus, you should be able to land one of those jobs. Obviously, if you're not into help desk, don't don't take the certification. Don't go that route. If you're not into uh, customer service, troubleshooting computers, Office three sixty five, Active Directory. MDM, MFA, into all that good stuff. You're not into customer service and being on the phone or talking to customers. And obviously the A plus is not for you. But for someone that's brand new, I definitely recommend if you're trying to get in, trying to get your foot in door, 
breaking into help desk or IT support. Anyway, this video shouldn't be that long. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and hoping to make more videos on Security Plus and training and a bunch of other training videos to help you guys get certified. All right, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye. Peace.